Let's bring in Rahul Gautam, who's outside Manish Sisodia's residence. What is the residence looking like? Rahul, is it complete silence or protesters are likely to gather in support of Delhi Deputy CM? Well, I'll show you the, uh, you know, the glimpse of what's happening at the residence of Mr. Manish Sisodia. This place is completely devoid of any activity here. Unlike other days when people would be lining up here, uh, given the fact that Mr. Manish Sisodia was handling around 18 portfolios. Uh, but uh, today, as you can see, there's hardly any activity here. Last night, Arvind Kejriwal and Bhagwant Man and other senior leaders arrived here and showed their solidarity with the family of uh, Manish Sisodia. There's heavy presence of... Uh, uh, you know, paramilitary forces and Delhi police here. Uh, multiple, uh, multiple barricades have been placed in here to ensure that uh, the law and order situation remains intact here. Uh, and not just this part of the national capital. There are several parts of the national capital that have been turned into, uh, into a fortress, whether it's political offices or CBA headquarters or Rouse Avenue Court, where Mr. Manish Sisodia will be produced shortly. So it seems that, uh, yeah, that this is the beginning uh, of one of the recent biggest showdowns between BJP and Ahmadi Party, given the fact that Aam Aadmi Party is trying to, uh, uh, you know, create a narrative that they are victims of political uh, witch hunt. In fact, they are hailing Mr. Manish Sisodia as a political martyr who is paying this price only because he was serving the people of the national capital. And, and you know, many people are suggesting, as far as parties concerned, that they'll be going on on full throttle as far as attacking BJP is concerned, because going on back foot will certainly be taking a uh, be taking a toll or a hit at the very uh, core image of our Aadmi Party, which actually came to the power on the plank of providing a non-corruption regime. Therefore, we have to really wait and watch that how our Aadmi Party is going to mobilize its card around, around uh, 12 p.m. A protest march uh, will be beginning from our Aadmi Party's office all the way to BJP's office. The idea is to mobilize Kader to tell people that it's a battle of perception. The BJP would certainly try to create a narrative that there has been a rot between, uh, uh, you know, within the uh, Delhi administration, which is merely coming out. On okay. the other hand, the Aam Aadmi Party would certainly try to save their image of, uh, you know, uh, of a crusader against corruption. And this is what we have to really wait in for, that how things are going to play out. But one thing is for sure that this is the beginning of one of the biggest showdown that we have seen recently between Aam Aadmi Party Two and Two ministers for sure. of Delhi government led by the Aam Aadmi Party are today in custody. Both of them, it looks like, could be a long haul unless Manish Sodia can manage to get out at the earliest. And this in a year of assembly elections. Stay on with me, Rahul and Ashutosh. So, for the viewer who's tuning in right now, if you're wondering what exactly unfolded on Sunday evening, this is the Delhi Liquor Gate scam allegations in which Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia found himself facing the heat from the Central Bureau of Investigation. After eight hours of questioning, he was taken into arrest. Remember, he had held the excise portfolio and that is why the heat was on him over the liquor policy. Aam Aadmi Party leader was arrested under sections 120B, which is criminal conspiracy, 477A, which is intent to defraud of the Indian Penal Code, and section 7 of the Prevention of Corruption Act. So these are strong charges. How did he eventually went to the CBI headquarters? He first met his mother, visited her, paid a tribute at the Raj Ghat, then reached the CBI headquarters at 11 a.m. We see now a heavy deployment of the police and the paramilitary, but he ensured that through the day it was a show of strength for him. But at 7.15 p.m., it was announced that he has been taken into arrest. Senior Ahmadmi Party leader was lodged uh, at the headquarters on Sunday. There will be a medical test he has to undergo, and then he will be produced ju in just a short while at the Rouse Avenue court today. I also now uh, want to uh, bring in uh, Rahul Gautam and Ashutosh Mishra who continue to be with us. Rahul, first to you quickly about what are we expecting, when will he be taken for, uh, to be produced before the Rouse Avenue Court? What we are learning from our sources that uh, between 12 to 1, uh, Mr. Manish Sosodia will be produced before this uh, Rouse Avenue Court, wherein obviously uh, the CBI would be seeking a police custody or, or, or you know, uh, CBI custody in order to uh, get some evidence because CBI, remember, has made it very clear that Mr. Manish Sosodia has been evasive and not cooperating as far as investigation is concerned, despite the fact that he was confronted with evidences. Now, we have to really wait and watch that whether the, the court would be awarding, uh, you know, police custody or would be sending Mr. Manish Sosodia uh, to judicial custody or he would be, uh, you know, let off on, on a bail. But one thing is very important here that, uh, you know, 
two trusted generals of uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, Mr. Satyendra Jain and Mr. Manish Sosodia, they both have been arrested. Uh, this comes as a huge blow. Uh, we are also learning that uh, uh, there might be a possibility uh, that a, a medical team would be visiting the CBA headquarters given the security concerns, uh, you know, uh, as far as Mr. Manish Sosodia is concerned. Therefore, he might not be taken to a hospital for a medical examination. Uh, a medical team could be possibly coming in at... Uh, CB headquarters for medical examination. So we have to really wait and watch that how, uh, you know, uh, what are the arguments that are coming, uh, going to be put forward by the CBI and by the defense uh, lawyers, uh, uh, you know, uh, for money Sisodia. But one thing is very pertinent here that uh, around noon, uh, you know, we've been informed around 1 p.m., the BJP is also going to hold a press conference, and you can expect uh, that this is an apt opportunity for them to hit out at Aam Aadmi Party. We're talking the latest about what is Aam Aadmi Party's uh, strategy, uh, but uh, this uh, can uh, also uh, raise uh, questions uh, of what will be Arvind Kejriwal's strategy now. He's he's alone in some ways. Remember, he has his coterie still, but two of his lieutenants are currently under arrest. What does this mean for the Aam Aadmi Party?